more and more kids are playing sports, and that's a good thing. But it comes with some not so good news. The number of children being admitted to emergency rooms for sports related concussions has more than doubled in recent years. Our reporter Brett Hall is finding out what we can do about it on today's Kids Health. That's right, the number of concussions coming into emergency rooms are going up and it's not just because more kids are playing sports. Hi, I'm Brett Hall and I'm here at the Upper Chesapeake Medical Center in Bel Air and we're here to find out more about concussions. Hi Brett, I'm Dr. Stacey Seidel here at Upper Chesapeake Medical Center. Uh, I'm one of the pediatric emergency physicians here in the hospital. We see tons of children with concussions and really know how to treat them, how to help them recover, and how to get them back into sports safely. Well, it's very nice to meet you. I have a few questions about concussions. Is it just like a bump on the head or is it a lot more than that? Well, Brett, concussions are really serious business. They happen when you get a really hard bump to the head or sometimes even a really hard impact to the body or whiplash where your brain gets a little rattled and shakes inside your skull and it can cause changes to the way your brain is functioning. That does sound serious. Are the changes in the brain permanent? Well, generally there only are temporary changes, but it's really important to rest right after a concussion and in some cases even have a doctor take a look at you. So how do you know if you or someone else has had a concussion? Well, concussions don't show up on x-rays or special pictures of the brain, so we diagnose them based on symptoms. The most common symptom is a headache that lasts longer than usual or doesn't go away. Some other symptoms we see are some nausea, sometimes some vomiting, unusual sleepiness, dizziness, confusion, um, or other signs that the child's not acting the way they normally do. So what should someone do if they've had a blow to the head? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to stop your activity and rest. Uh, sit down, make sure you're feeling okay. The next thing you want to do is tell a responsible adult who can keep an eye on you for the first 24 hours and really make sure you're okay. If you've had any of the symptoms I mentioned, you want to make sure you see your doctor. And then the other thing you can do is you can take some acetaminophen, which is mm -hmm. Tylenol, and that can help your headache. So what happens once you get to the doctor? How do they treat a concussion? The first thing we do is we evaluate you to make sure there's not a more serious brain injury. We check your eyes, check your balance, make sure all the nerves in your body are working properly. The next thing we do once we've figured out it's a concussion is we tell you to rest from things that stress your brain out. Studying, focusing on video games, texting, um, all the things that kids like to do. And we often have you rest from physical activities to make sure you don't get another injury while you're still recovering. Oh, so a concussion can happen at home or school, not just while playing sports. That's right. They can happen anywhere. The most important thing to do is to tell your parents, your teacher, your coach, so they can help you decide what to do next. Remember, it's not okay to keep playing after you've suffered a big bump to the head. You need to sit out. The other thing that's really important is to make sure you wear all the protective equipment, helmets, pads that can lessen the impact. They don't fully prevent concussions, but they often help protect you from even a more serious brain injury or a more severe concussion. I know a lot of kids that make money babysitting. If they're watching kids and one of them falls and hits their head, what should they do? That's a great question. You want to make sure you call the parents and let them know so that they can help decide what to do. You want to have the child sit down on a chair or couch and rest, stop their activity. You can put some ice on the bump to their head. And if they're unconscious or really not acting right, you really want to call 911. That's good to know. Is there anything else you can tell us about concussions? Well, there's now even an app for smartphones that parents can download onto their smartphone to help them identify and recognize a concussion and appropriately treat it. It's called CRR, Concussion Recognition and Response. And within just a few minutes, you can tell whether your child's suffering symptoms of a concussion, and it helps you know what to do for management. Thanks, Dr. Seidel. You really do know a lot about concussions. Remember, Brett, if you ever suffer a bump to your head, you want to tell an adult, you want to rest from your activity, put an ice pack, and you want to make sure that you see your doctor or call 911 if it's something serious and you think you have a concussion. All right, and remember, tell an adult because they will know what to do. If you'd like more information about concussions and what to do about them, here are some resources. We'll see you next time on Kids Health.